stabbed by. He gets uh, randomly stabbed. Like this doesn't make any <laughs> fucking sense. You know, the guy's just like running down the street. He's like, ah! He's just charging with a knife <laughs> like a in front knife. of him. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Anime Summit Podcast. You know what? Today's Halloween, and we didn't think about recording on Halloween. Like, we didn't plan that shit. It just kind of happened that way because I blame Nick's work. It's Nick's work's fault for scheduling him. Look, I gotta sell. I gotta sell overpriced candy to old people. All right. That's true. Someone's got to do it, man. That's true. So, anyway, welcome back to the Anime Summit Podcast. Happy Halloween. Uh, it won't be Halloween when you listen to this, but it's fine. Happy Halloween anyway. Hope you're eating a lot of candy. Uh, my personal favorite is Reese's. And with me, uh, or well, I'm Sam, by the way, I just in case you didn't fucking know. And with me is Danny Hootenanny. Happy Halloween, everyone. Kuga in Korea. But it's good that we're doing the show late because it allowed me to almost die on that K-drama set. And Whoa. Neon Genesis, Nick Van <laughs> Uh, my favorite candy is, ki- well, anything that's a bar that I can sneak a USB drive in there and like, or a thumb drive, you know, I put a thumb drive in there and it has the prequel movies on it. That's it my favorite the candy. <laughs> <laughs> Got to trick kids into watching the classics. That's hilarious. That's hilarious. Okay. Anyway, so here's the thing. We have been talking about how to do seasonal and if we're going to try it this way and if you guys like it then we're going to keep doing it but basically what we're going to do is two weeks in a row you're going to get two seasonal episodes the first one is going to be a batch oh, of shows too much anime <laughs> the first one is going to be a batch of shows and then the second one the the one that comes out the week a week later is going to be the ones we didn't talk about there are another 10 eight or 10 shows and then we're going to have the review at the end, award style, like we did last time, because a lot of people thought that was funny. I thought it was funny. I thought it was great. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're going to do it that way from now on. That being said, uh, fall season is kind of, I think it's better. Yeah, summer season was a little season? bit uh, a little bit light on uh, the great stuff. So. Yeah, Although we did yeah. have, uh, we did have uh, Sobiasa Base, so. So we also boss like that goat. carried that season. Oh my god. <laughs> it did. I I'm like not even mad at that statement. It totally did. Um but yeah. Uh so we're gonna do it like that. And just in case you didn't know links.animesummit.net. You can find everything right there. If you type it in, links.animesummit.net, boom 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 boom. Fatty you boom blatty. You get everything. Everything, I tell you. Everything. 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 So mobile friendly. go there. Mobile friendly. Go there and uh, do it that way because it's great. Um, also, if you didn't notice, uh, well, by your by the time you listened to this yesterday, I uploaded the Manga Book Club meeting for Tomi. We read Tomi by Junji Ito. That shit was nasty. I yeah. could not read any. I tried to read more after we were done with that meeting, and I was just, just like, I got to I gotta girl stop. Is, yeah, this girl is getting her head chopped off like every every other page. So I'm just gonna we're gonna. Well, turn where <laughs> did she like vacation in Saudi Arabia or something? What happened there? No, dude, it was like <laughs> she can regenerate, and like it was just really gross because like a face would grow out of her like chest, and it was really weird. Oh, you were reading that fun. one. Oh, yeah. body yeah. horror, J- Junji Ito. Yep. Yeah, yeah dude, it was fucking nasty. Anyway, it was great. So if you want to join Manga Book Club, we are now hopping back into Akira. So this Sunday, same time, 8.30 p.m. Eastern Specific Time, uh, Manga Book Club meeting. Um, Did you say Eastern Specific Time? Eastern Specific Time, because <laughs> it starts specifically at 8.30. <laughs> um, um, so, like, if you yes. want to join, you got to read Akira 1, 2, 3, and 4, because we're hopping back in with 4 after reading finishing 3 the last time. So there you go. Akira Volume 4. Get on it if you don't. Then you're probably Watch, read four volumes of Akira in the next four days. Four hey, days. You can, get, you can get through it, man. You, dude. It like it seriously like you cannot stop turning that bitch. And there's mm-hmm. not a lot of exposition. Like, 
There is like every once in a while, but it's not terrible. Oh, like, it's a picture can... book. Pretty much. Okay. Well, Quoka doesn't know anything, so let's move on. Uh, summer season, fall 2018. Here we go. Waifu and his bando. Summer what season. Are we ta- fall season is what I said. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. If I didn't, then I'll. Oh my god, guys! It's Just November. Edit it for out, me. Sam. Uh, edit edit I'm yourself money out. For and... my rent. <laughs> oh yeah, technically it's November for Quoka because she's in the future. Quoka, all you gotta do is just seduce your landlady. Yeah, Quoka that's how it works, stupid. right? She, she's a home money though. Wait, what does that mean? What? Grandma. Look, <laughs> she's in Quoka. Obata. Quoka, you gotta understand. Right? We're all God's Obata? children Dude, in the dark. We're all God's a, children in the dark. She's a cougar for the cougar. <laughs> <laughs> as they <gross>. say, <laughs> as as Qui Gon Jinn says in the prequel movies that you can find in my Kit Kat bars, there's always a bigger fish. You can you can find in my kick-ass box. Oh my god. Oh my god, here we go. Okay. Why <laughs> Fall 2018. Waifu and Husbando, here we go. First impressions of these shows. Uh for Waifu, uh Nick and I thought Rika from Gridman. <laughs> because so she's sick. <laughs> the show hasn't even been out for like Actually, the show's been out for only, like, three or four weeks, as most shows. But, like, there's already... As soon as the first episode dropped, there was hella fan art from, you know, Japanese Twitter, and it was awesome. Uh, Really hot, sexy, smooth legs. Dude, half the reason they made that show was to make a thick girl. I'm pretty sure that's canon. I agree. Like, I think the director Uh, said that at some point. I think he did actually. No, it yeah. is trigger. Like, like that wouldn't surprise me. Like Nick is not. Yeah, Nick is not exaggerating. Like there's an article somewhere where he literally said, "I want wanted to have a character. Where, I wanted her to have thick thighs." Good like, juicy. I'll, link in the show notes. Um, Dude, I hope and has, I hope she pulls a Brock Samson and at one point wears some sweatpants with the word juice on the butt. That'd juice. be funny. <laughs> nice. Band, uh, it just has the word nice. juice. <laughs> and has been. <laughs> Dude, I need to get some pants like that and just wear them to the gym. <laughs> Husbando is uh, Rimuru Tempest uh, from that one time I got reincarnated as a slime. Oh, Why? Dude. Because I would like there to be a Husbando that's a slime. Every once is he in a voiced while. by okay? a female in the I Japanese sub? I feel like that's the case. Probably. The Japanese sub? Be. The Japanese, Japanese yeah. sub. Well, you can have subs on there if you want, all right? If you can read Moon Runes. <laughs> the Japanese Japanese version of the Japanese. Let's find out. Anyway, let's, f- let's find out. Anyway, Niho Okas. Well, oh, oh god, there's no actors. picture. There's no picture for it. It. Oh, I have the page up right here. Yeah, Miho Okasaki. Right. Wait, Miho. That's female, right? That's gotta be female because it ends in an O. No, it's well, Spanish. In, in Spanish, <laughs> Miho means no, my son. no, 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 no. Because Miho in Japanese is just Google is, image. Is yeah, it's a chick. It's, it's the opposite. Really, there you go. All right. You just That's go to I Google thought. Images and type anyway, in Anyway, watch the sub. Everything. Watch the sub because it has a cute-ass voice for that slime. She's really right. hot. Okay, anyway, Dude, here's the thing. Think about this, though. The, the reason that their waifu and husbando is that, is that the slime can eat Rika and gain her thigh powers. Okay, this is stupid. I'm moving on. And he'll just walk around with them thick thighs, like SpongeBob <laughs> style. Just shut up, man. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> so Nick's created a list of shows for us to watch each batch. So we're going to talk about these. It's every next... other show. If you go to my anime list, it's uh, sorted by popularity. And we just took every other show. So we're going to have – it's going to be split between each episode. So yeah, we picked all, all the ones popular... that aren't popular. We picked half that weren't. <laughs> Koga's, Koga's like kind of right, kind of wrong about that. Well, no, but anyway, I, just, I, I started from the top, so like we're not gonna we're not gonna cover the least popular. No, shows. but Nick, started we gotta start the at the bottom, bottom, and now we're here. Started from the bottom, now we're here. Started, started from, from the from top, the bottom, now we're now there. The whole team fucking here. Started from the he bottom, says now crew, we're here. Not team. Started from the bottom, now we go a little higher. Then we go up a little bit further. Not really right away to the top, but kind of halfway up a little. Then we go back to the bottom. <laughs> we move up to the third floor in the building. <laughs> okay, anyway. Nick's got it listed here. And uh, here we go. The first show is Beelzebub Joel. No. And we're going in oh, alphabetical order. You, Mama. Okay, let's just let me, please. We picked. Please. So look, we're covering like the top Beelzebub six. Beelzebub. Every other show. And then we're changing the order to alphabetical. So this, they don't need to know this how Beelzebub is not 
People need to know, Sam. All right. Miss no, Beelzebub's it's fine. not I already explained one. it. You know, Goblin Ask Miss Beelzebub. Number. Right. No, it doesn't matter. We have a list already. We already explained it. As Miss Beelzebub likes. Is that really what it translates to? Uh, pff, probably not. <laughs> it's always lost in translation, so. Well, but yeah, sorry. No, as Nick, as Nick Beelzebub said. Beelzebub Joe no Okini Mesu Mama. Yeah, it's not in like it's just I in alphabetical fucking... order the way we have it. It's not in any particular popularity or score. Order. Yeah, I'm but now basically... looking back at the list, and I have some of these checked off as I've watched a few episodes, and I can't remember a damn it. thing about some <laughs> of them. <laughs> it's okay, Quoka. Just just uh, watch a PV again. You'll remember. Okay. Anyway, Miss Be- Miss Beez. I'm gonna call her Beezlebub because I like that sound better. I know it's probably wrong. Anyway. Beezle. There's not even an L. Beezle. Beazel, oh, it is it is it is wait it's not Beazel it's Beelzebub Beelzebub as in Beelzebub. the the devil foo okay not anyway Beazelbub yeah. Miss Beazelbub is a cute slice of life show by Leiden Films based on a manga and there's not really any story to it the whole idea is that. Beelzebub is this cute girl with uh with with you know some big big fluffy boobies and she sleeps in a big fluffy bed with with big fluffy like what are those angel duck mites or hair. rabbits or demons They're or something They're called angel hair. Angel hair. Pasta. Basically she does the Gochi Usa thing where she has a rabbit on her head the whole time and it's super adorable. And she But instead always... it's a fur ball on her Yeah, it's a fur ball in her lady garden. And she's always uh, she's getting into little <laughs> little tiny little uh, com- comedic bits with her with her servant Murin and uh, yeah that's like the whole show. There's not really any story. The whole <laughs> fucking show doesn't make any sense. It's just there's no so plot. They can have <laughs> it's a guy just her that saying, has to work for a super powerful but super ditzy busty girl. That's it, dude. Well, it, no, she's everything else she rules is over hell. Shit. Okay. Okay. And uh, hell is apparently hell's and hell is nice. hell is just like Tokyo. Yeah, it's pretty nice. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like Tokyo. <laughs> it's very it's... pastel colored, like Easter. Um, and somehow there's people in hell that don't know what she looks like, even though she's been the queen for virtually all eternity. Well, that's her disguise. She's you know she's putting on a front to to lure them into complacency, so later she can slaughter them all. Yeah, it's a slice or just of life. Eat fluffy food. It's a slice of life about Beelzebub, but Beelzebub takes the form of a hot, hot lady. And she works for Satan Sama. Oh, yes. man, I can't wait to see how hot Satan is. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, Nick, Nick, here's what you do. When, when they reveal Satan, you got to take a screen cap of it and then make a meme, and it says, Y'all need Satan. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all bitches need Satan. Satan. Y'all bitches seen Satan. Most most of the show's pretty stupid, but I liked when she was just sitting at her desk and was just like, my goal in life is to become a ball of fur. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and she's like, <laughs> her whole day just revolves around finding fluffy things and getting reprimanded by her servant. That's the whole show. So, like, dude, it, it's great because, cause like, she's, you know, she's she's kawaii and she says, fua, fua, the whole but time. she That's fought like in the lines. war with heaven. But apparently God's will still exists in yeah. hell, even though they did well in the fight against Satan or against don't heaven. Don't worry about it. I don't It doesn't really... matter. All that matters is fua fua, fua fluffy fua. times. Fua fua time. <laughs> fua fua, fua, time. fua time. <laughs> and the, uh, she has a friend, uh, Belphegor. They're all named after like demons, basically. And Belphegor is this other girl who has a, she has a, a shy bladder, nervous bladder. Whenever she sees a, a guy, she has to go pee. That's the exact opposite of a nervous bladder. Well, what is it then? I don't know. A non-nervous nervous yeah, bladders them... are when you can't pee when somebody else might hear you. <laughs> oh, you're right. It's a uh, it's an overactive bladder. I don't know. Well, she you got to pee a lot. Anyway. Um... Yeah, and she peed like five times in one episode, and it was great. Yeah, that's actually, that's that. going to spoil it. Man, if you're into that stuff. Nick Shades of when, Made uh, in Abyss. Make sure you Nick only go it. to websites that have legal girl pissing videos and not stolen ones. Just saying. Yeah, don't pull an R. Kelly <laughs> like Nick. Where are, the, where are these websites? There's so many of it, them. But where are they? It's a remix edition of a song about pissing. 
But yeah, no, like yeah, all the Beelzebub. all yeah. of her servants are named after like devil or demon apostles because they no, they are devil. those. They're not named. And, after oh yeah, them. they. Oh, sorry, that's right. Isn't, they isn't are Beelzebub yeah. like just another word for Satan? Or am I wrong on that? No, like, he was. It's like, like a form uh, of Satan. In the same way that Lucifer is another word for Jesus. Yeah, that's what I meant. They're all the same something guy. Like it's all the same guy. Uh, Even Asheroth, though she's a chick. Your own dandelion. <laughs> but yeah, you know what? I say give it. A, I really love the art style. I think. An- I think animation's this is a, okay. This is a sequel to uh, Devil Man Crybaby. It's got to be. Oh my god. <laughs> same universe confirmed. Danny, <laughs> what canon. are your thoughts on Beelzebub Joel no Okina Mesumama? I don't have opinions on it. I never watched it. Get out of this house. Okay, right, moving bye. on. Bye. Peace What's out, the guys. next show? Next show's Nick. Hold on, I was typing multo meal in my phone. Um, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Old man emoji. <laughs> Dude, multo meal is great. Anyway, it's it's fluffy. She would like it. Next show, alphabetically, is Bloom Into You. Or you got to Kimi no Naru. And <laughs> it's probably another mistranslation, but who cares? I don't speak Boonrun, so No, that's Look, that's pretty much you. exactly it. Naru is the word that like flowers Naru. Kimi ni would be in you. I'm not exactly what the yagate part is, but I always confuse bloom into you and the world of something. colors. I confuse them. It's it's about um, girls becoming women. Uh, yeah, it's a <laughs> Yuri romance, or not Yuri, but like it's a shojo AI. Uh, that's that's Yuri. Yeah, shojo okay, AI. You're right, shojo then. AI is like one. It's like it's like uh, soft core Yuri. I, it's soft core Yuri. I, Every time I say Yuri, AI. Yeah, I say, <laughs> it's artificial intelligence show. <laughs> uh, it's like it's like that scene of Ghost in the Shell where M- Makoto is uh, making out with the, with the chick, you know? Shoujo AI right there. I you know what? Like I always have problems with these shows cuz it's like oh it's another just Studio Troika fan. based on a manga. Studio Troika. Just on, I I was worried weary of this worry. I was weary of this one You're because You were weary of it. You got tired. It was just going to sexualize lesbians. Yeah. Like like citrus or some shit, and soccer maybe trick. It's, kinda... it's a step above citrus. A couple of steps, way below what? soccer like, trick. And 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 I'm not saying I'm not knocking that shit. Like if people like that, then that's fine. You know whatever. But I kind of want to just see a story where it's just like legit love story, just like you know. And this does a pretty good job. The animation's like. I don't know. Animation's it's okay. a little It's not. Yeah. It's definitely better than Citrus. That's for it sure. It has the it has the lens flare going on. They got a little bit of P, a little bit of PA works. Not really PA, PA works, works in there. I just want to say a... story wise. Okay, so this is a girl who just started at her high school, and like a, a guy confessed to her at the closing ceremony of middle school, and she hasn't responded to him, which has been like at least three weeks, right? Because that's how long Japan takes in between school years. Uh, she just hasn't responded to him. Three whole weeks? Wow. <laughs> if that, if that. And uh, she's just ignoring it, which also, what a bitch, confessing on yeah. like the end, the last day of school, essentially. Yeah, like, pff, yeah. Like, grow some balls. Maybe that's why she hasn't responded to you yet. That but, way, if you're uh, turned down, it's okay. She kind of is just like, oh, he doesn't make me go doki doki. And uh, <laughs> she, she did say doki starts doki, at this I north. That. I know, I know, because that's the japanese word for your heart fluttering but uh she goes to her new school goes to join the student council and her friends are all talking about like their love lives and stuff but she goes to student council meets a girl who she sees getting confessed to and she just turns them down then they kind of talk and she's like yeah i'm just gonna turn everyone down and i've uh just i've never met anybody that was interesting girls or guys both of them have confessed to me and she just don't care but then what right. I think is stupid is at the end of the first episode, like, basically nothing has happened. And at the end of the first episode, she's like, I'm falling in love with you. Like, the girl <laughs> that is supposedly, like, the older upperclassman who's never, like, felt anything before is suddenly just, like, to this new girl that she's known for, like, two days. Something like, I'm mm. falling in love with you and is embracing her. Daisuke. Yeah, she's I'm like, sure, like. She's like, I it's... want you to sit on my face, Kohei. Ko- <laughs> Isn't it Kohei? It's H E I when it's the way it's going. It seems like it may, not, it may not be executed well. So it's like eh, I don't know. No, I, I think might still I think be, did a decent job. Be good as a more palatable um, exploration of 
lesbianism in Japanese youth as opposed to a lesbianism. sexualized year. As opposed to I don't know. As opposed to just the rapey citrus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She's like, I'm gonna you know, I just mean in that sense of like <laughs> that, people actually exploring like, is this even like something that's okay and should we feel comfortable doing this as opposed to, uh, yeah. oh yeah, well, let's just have sticky spit strings <laughs> going from each other. But the story wise, that just kind of is like, I feel like they could have slowed into it a bit more. Well, I think what they're doing the the my love story style where like immediately they're the couple and then the whole the rest of it's kind of. Ex- Showing how they, yeah, but function. they could have still taken like at least something to give them better sense of like time passing. But then again, this is Japan where it seems like people just confess to people they've never talked to before. You know how else are you gonna do it, man? Shit. All the time, where it's just like the apocalypse approach. <gasps> I took science with you three years ago. Please go out with me. <laughs> Dude, you're saying you wouldn't <laughs> ask somebody out you never met? Come on, come on. Yeah, it's like I a, would hey, if I wasn't maybe so shy. Maybe we should go and, out and sometime. Awkward. Not a. Oh my god! You need to be my girlfriend, dude. That's way better. You got to do the Japanese wall put the wall slam, you know, yeah. corner them so they can't move, so oh. they can't run away. And then you look and you look at them, and then that, that's sounding super rapey. And I, have, I, have, I have a photo doing that with <laughs> my girlfriend at the at Seoul Tower. There's a wall that they put locks on, kind of like I think they do in Paris at one big thing, like people but like oh, i love you on a lock and they lock it to the the fence or other locks and i have like a photo of doing like the the one-handed wall thing my girlfriend nice. didn't want to do it but i thought it'd be funny well that's it makes even better <laughs> <laughs> i'm just kidding <laughs> dude my but then, like the moment it like... started she got like super doki doki what i want i want or an anime Korean. where there's dugun, like dugun, where there's like dugun, a short dugun. either a short girl or guy who does the wall slam against a taller individual so so they're like it's they're at like crotch height instead yeah their face is at like belt buckle height and they're just wall slamming them and it's like pretty awkward that'd be funny i want to see so that. sam in your yeah. ultra queerness Blue what do you, you feel about this queer show no I, I like it i just want it to be good and yeah i i definitely i'm hoping that it will be good so far so far i definitely liked the first episode it's definitely better than citrus citrus was just a hot mess it like made no sense whatsoever so that what danny said yeah like tbh at least this had like there's this show has like some build-up you know and they kind of like at the end of episode one they definitely like dropped the bomb where like the black haired girl um you know confessed to you and everything to me so no not to no the 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 first year whatever her her last name is but her name is you koito yeah you koito i always forget that like in japanese they call each other by their last names yeah nanami and koito by their family names (laughs) Because it's so the first I'm name gonna, in Japan. I'm probably going to keep watching that one uh, and see what happens. Yeah, I'm going to see where it goes. We'll see. I'll see where it goes. Um, How many have you watched now of it? Have you watched, are you caught up? I watched first two. And I thought they were pretty good. But animation's like whatever. But animation's not a super deal breaker for me unless it's like orange. Is like it orange. as good as the L word? No. <laughs> no. Wait, as goes what? L what? The L even word. Even though the L the L word, even though the even though the L word's a little bit dated in in terms of whatever, uh that was hot. <laughs> if you've never seen the L word. Is that a hentai or sh- something or what? No, it's a Showtime show. No, oh, lesbians. 3D PD. Okay. Got it. It's a it's a Sex in the City but with, with lesbians. lesbians. <laughs> and and more drama and less stupidness and more face and hitting. Of, and and a lot of scissoring. There's a lot of scissoring. Nice. Nice. Sign nice me up. Nice one, dude. A lot of taco handshakes. Um, so who's watching Goblin Slayer? I am. Everybody, I dude. am. Why would you not watch this? You, for I the memes. It's... it's for the memes. Okay. I don't... So look, Goblin Slayer what? is How about is a guy named Goblin Slayer. 
because Nick turns anything into a meme. And he's uh, friends with a priestess named Priestess. Named <laughs> Opai Desu. Her name is uh, Ona Shinken. And um, yeah, so like the whole point is Goblin Slayer is traumatized he slays because goblins. his whole family got killed by goblins. So now he's out to slay them. And he joins up with this party. And they're you know they're going off to slay some fucking goblins, man. Episode one had a lot had some rape. Episode one was you know? our main character is not the uh, goblin slayer. Our main character is the girl. Uh yeah, she's like the audience uh insert yeah. sort of. Um Goblin Slayer is totally unrelatable because <laughs> he has no face. <laughs> it's just like <laughs> And he's just Goblin Slayer. That's it. There's nothing else you can use to describe him. Yeah, nameless, faceless, um, symbol of rage. And this of. is a world where goblins are kind of seen as lowly monsters to hunt, so nobody really wants to go fight them, even though they can really fuck people up. As seen in yeah. the first episode, where they literally seen... fuck people. Yeah. No, with the uh, uh, with the black shadow. I'm, you know, I wish they would. I wish they would animate the full scenes of that. You know, put it, just put it on the deep. Put it on the Blu-ray. You know what I'm saying? Put it on the deep web. <laughs> on the deep web. <laughs> uh, yeah, I was not. Uh... <laughs> well, in the manga, apparently they did. I I haven't actually read the manga, but I I so I I saw the panels from the manga. Um, this is just like normal. People... Yeah, I mean they show it. Yeah, they don't they don't show PB in the VV, but they oh, show well... like. That's not they that show bad. the goblins. It's so behind. naughty, Sam. <laughs> okay, well, I mean, I just wanted to see because I wanted everyone was talking about it, and I think uh, I think when you do certain subjects like that in art, whether it's like TV or a movie or whatever, uh, there are ways to like do it, and some some animes that I've seen it in like sexualize it in a very bad way. And that's like dangerous. Like every hentai, where the girl just like immediately starts to like it. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. I mean, but I mean, there's also a difference in goals when you're trying to establish. Yeah. You, when you're trying to use like the act of rape to establish somebody as being evil, it would be smart to not overly sexualize the act to where it just turns yeah. people yeah. on. Yeah. Yeah, and I think in episode one of Goblin Slayer, I think because then they you're did missing the okay. point. Right, yeah, and I think the 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 job of 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 when you do scenes like that is to make the person uncomfortable and set it set it up to show you who the enemy is. Yeah, and they did a really good job of doing. Well, it. Well, they, they did think... an okay job. The problem, though, I have with that is that okay. the party of characters was just a bunch of random randos. Like, I don't get, I didn't give a fuck about them. You know what I'm saying? Like, they didn't even have names. I mean, they they did, well, but not I don't, really. I don't think it mattered. I think that that well, and that's why scene was. So the difference between this, I, I know it was just kind of like establishing the world and like why the goblins are bad. Um, but I feel like they could have, you know, it would have been nice if, even if they did the the Grimgar thing where they had at least a couple of episodes. You know what I'm saying? Where it's like you you meet the characters, you know their names. It's like, yeah, oh, but you know it's not the about them. Works. It's about the Goblin Slayer. Yeah, I know it's about the Goblin Slayer. Um, <laughs> it's okay. It was fine. It was fine. Um, but yeah. The, I think uh, I, I'm not like offended by it. A, a lot of people were up in arms. I don't know if they were. Trolling I think they probably the could have taken that like, scenario and made it. This at has least been done a lot of episodes. Times. Like they could have ended the first episode like midway through the attack. Yeah, right. they could have established it better and and so that they could made you think that those are the main characters, characters and then yeah. and then gotten rid of them because you know when you met them it's like hi let's go on an adventure. Oh I'm no, goblins. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. Um. I think. I think. Just you know. Just like content warning. Just be careful because it, it is pretty. Like it made me very uncomfortable. Um, yeah. That first episode nah. was like a little risque. Dude. Like, after Whoa. after Devil Man Cry Baby, this is nothing. <laughs> Danny, were you foaming? I wasn't foaming. <laughs> God. What the fuck? That's disgusting. Danny had to Some, put on were her you pants. Foaming? <laughs> no. Fuck no. What did I have to do, Nick? You had to put on what pants so the foam didn't overflow. Oh, God. That's Jesus disgusting. Christ. That's Remember, disgusting. it's a callback to the other episode. Anyway, um, <laughs> look, there's a great meme that we had in our Discord. Nick, I think it was. I'm just going like, to tell you uh, pants are not a good something. way to control flow. <laughs> well, it makes it, you know, you have, you have a big wet spot instead of. Uh, okay. 
Anyway. Uh, do we need to talk about this meme? Is this for real? Is this meme for real? Oh no, it's just it's just a simple oh, one. Nick, the, Nick not knowing female. It's a Tom anatomy and Jerry. It's a Tom and Jerry meme. meme with the uh, with the giant mouse and then the medium mouse and a small mouse. And Goblin Slayer is the small mouse. <laughs> and Berserk <laughs> is like the giant mouse hovering in the background. <laughs> Cuz if you read the Berserk manga and watch the the show, it's a like it makes Goblin Slayer look like nothing, you know. The Berserk though? As far as like gr- graphic scenes of sex or whatever. So it's like, you know, this 10. is this is like this is one level on the uh, on the on the scale. Um, yeah. that, that's I why I wasn't gonna... super offended by it. So I've, I've, it's like I've seen worse and a little desensitized. So you know. Sure, I mean, I just I'm just saying for other people who have you know had issues. But anyway, um, there's a I, scene. I, in... I... Oh, sorry. Go ahead. No, go ahead. No, go ahead. I was, I was just gonna, gonna say, say like... just unrelated to that. There, there's a scene where they're in the party, um, and Goblin Slayer is like eating and drinking soup through his fucking helmet. It's like, how does he do that? <laughs> shit? <laughs> Well, he's got the slits uh, in there. Yeah, he just pours true. it through. Ah, fuck. He it. has his, to eat. He has to eat. He has to eat flatbread. Just, his face is just going to be scalded. <laughs> he has to eat. He has to eat flatbread so he can like slide it through. Yeah. <laughs> he has to have toast. <laughs> just <laughs> noodles. Just yeah. noodles. Yeah. He sucks. But it he has through. to use Dude, like thin awesome. chopsticks to like put the noodles. Through. Someone's just like fucking waffle stopping. What if his face was burned off by goblins and now it's just one hole? That's what I was saying. But, like, I was going to say, like, I don't know if I'm going to continue watching it because a lot of people have been telling me that the manga is way better. Sam, it's the most popular show of the season. you got to keep watching it Every, for the podcast. Hipsters what are we always paying you say for, that, Sam? What are we paying you, know, you for? God, why do I always have to do that? I don't want to watch it. <laughs> hipsters always say that. You have to that. watch the most popular shows. Yeah, yeah, you're looking like a hipster, Sam. Come on. Anyway, Goblin Slayer. Pay um, me 20 bucks and I'll watch it. All right, I'll pay you 20 bucks, then you give me back $20. It's fine. Roy, <laughs> When you, when you like it, you give them back twenty dollars. <laughs> oh, the, the animation is pretty good too. It's it's uh, and, a, uh studio it's white okay. box. It's okay. It's average. Box. It's pretty decent. Yeah, it's alright. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, the I like the music too. It has like some good uh, op ed going on. Yeah. yeah. Shout out to the Berserk op. Now 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 now. Okay, and next show. Irudoku, the world in colors, which is definitely another tra- mistranslation. Um. What? I don't know. Irozo- 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 Why is everything a me- if Because it's in look Japanese, at now. It's like nobody fucking knows. Like nobody knows Irozo- how to talk Japanese. <laughs> Irozuku Sukai no Ashtakara. Okay, so this show is animated by PA Works. So and it's an it's an original anime too. So like look, you automatically know what you're getting with a PA Works show. You're getting like glass slip Nagino Asakara type show. Every single show they Except do is both like of those that. are very different. Glass Lip is absolute well, this is ha- steaming garbage. <laughs> this, is, this is halfway in between. And Nagino Asakara is really good. Oh, it's pretty good. It's okay. Um, look, PA works. You have hills, you have lens flare, and you have a bunch of students in clubs uh, with melodrama, teenage melodrama. That's that's the world a, in colors. And it's you have a blind about, girl. Yeah, blind girl. Well, she's like colorblind, um, which ironically, it's actually more expensive Doesn't happen to in animate. women in real life. That's true. It's almost always men. Um, but like, so look, the the whole story is this girl is colorblind, and she's also um, fully a magic, colorblind, like dog magic colorblind. User. Yeah, like black and white. And the funny thing about that is, like, actually animating black and white is more expensive than animating in color, somehow, because probably they got to do all the shading and stuff. I could, um, I don't see why it'd be more expensive. I could see it being slightly more difficult. Just well, difficult. That. Oh, that's the same. You well, have a the smaller same idea, palette, though. so being able to accurately distinguish between things. Can well, yeah. Be so you'd have harder, to shade but... everything perfectly and all that. Um, or they probably just draw in color and then just do saturate. No, no, no. Because you no, would I end think... up with colors blending <laughs> too much. Yeah, I don't know. Because if you have a red at, they got to make it pop somehow. Sam. Like a red at fifty. Right. Like <laughs> if you have a red and a blue that are at the same brightness value, but have are saturating those different. You know, hue and saturation. When you take them out, they become the same gray. That's true. And that become an issue with uh, girls that have no defining character traits except their hair color. Right. If all their hair so, becomes the same color and gray, then you just have four characters that are all the same. So basically, it's Nick's fault. Yeah. So the thing about this show. Okay. Yeah. So the it, the, the idea is that there's a magic using girl who's all depressed. She can't see color. Her grandma sends her back into the past to um. Basically, to make friends. She sends her back to 2018. 
Yeah, to 2018. Whoa, way in the Giant. past. <laughs> Which is conveniently in the present. Um, and yeah, she joins a, cl- a photography club. And she meets her there. grandmother at 17, and they totally bone. Nick explained that very horribly. So, like, the thing is, I gave is, a like, very brief synopsis. I mean, the <laughs> thing is, is the setting in Japan, it's it's in 2070 something. So, like, yeah. Um, but uh, it's 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 not. They don't make it super futuristic. They make it still. There's still trees and houses and shit. It's legit. But anyway, um, they live in a world where magic, a fictional Earth where magic and magic exists and it's not magic like throwing thunderbolts and firebolts and all that shit it's just like um well it is but on on a smaller scale on a smaller scale yeah like you can make things float you know make stars lights you can walk on water apparently there's Um, there's one day show in episode two where you you sprinkle it over yourself and then you can it'll show you where you've lost something you know things like that i feel like this is just technology and not magic at all well, that's that's the rule. Magic is it's just probably techn- the theme magic of it. is technology that we can't explain yet. That's no, like it's the whole technolo- <laughs> technology sufficiently advanced is indistinguishable from magic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. there's that's also like the, a thing the common saying. There's also the thing though too, like her little they in the future or in the future, like where Quokka is, they have like yeah November. They have these little de- they have these little devices where it's fueled by magic, but they're like the cell phones and they're like in there ears or something they're in their brains or some shit I don't what was but that like, stupid show with like the incest plot line where they use cell phones to control their magic stuck in another world with uh, cell phone? The, no the the irregular magic high school Didn't oh mahoka in that one too? Yeah. yeah i heard that show yeah. was uh popular but then everyone is like wait this is bad <laughs> 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 i haven't it seen it that, that was before my bad. time <laughs> <laughs> it was always pretty bad but um, no. So now the this girl's grandma sends her back to 2018, and she's like, just out of nowhere, and she's like, why? And she's like, just because. You'll figure it out when you get there. And then some shit. That happens. seems like and a bit. Uh, you know, some people do summer camps or like go to Okinawa yeah. on Golden Week. It's just like, uh, you going back to 2018? It's like no. Yeah. Well, her See grandma's trying to spark. No, Seventy she's years. Trying to, she's trying to spark her emo. You know, to to ignite her emotions and like. Get her out of her funk, because the girl is like, she, you know, she's just kind of depressed. She can't do shit. <laughs> she's like, she's like Ray Ayanami. Does she run like, into any yeah. cultural issues with going back to 2018, where like she does? You know, it's gay people funny. aren't allowed in Japan, while in 2070 <laughs> they probably are. <laughs> probably, maybe not though. We don't. Japan's pretty slow. She's like, <laughs> she's like knocking on. She's like tapping. She appears in some dude's room, and she's like tapping on the window. Naked? She's like, Why won't it open? Does, does she terminate her there? No, no, she's in her Damn. clothes. But like, she's tapping on the window with her finger, and she's like, "Why won't it open? I don't understand." Wow. <laughs> and she doesn't realize there's like a lock on it. And you I meant like social differences, or is it just a tech uh, difference? No. No. Missed opportunity. Missed opportunity. Well, maybe I don't know. I haven't. I've only watched the first uh, two episodes, but uh, I I like it. I think it's animated really well, and I like the art style. Um, yeah, it's PA and... works. They're like the you know third. They're like yeah. tier two below. Come for the good animation and then kill yourself. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Except for Nagiyasu. Wow. You come for the good animation and then you just oh fall in love God. with the characters in the story and never uh, want to leave. Unless you're Nick. Am I the only one here who didn't love Nagiyasu? Yourself. Am I the only one? All right. That's okay. Save for the Nagiyasu podcast. Only, the only Nagiyasu person on the podcast. planet that didn't. Actually, you can watch that. It was a uh, yeah, show with Mac. That was a show swap with Mac. All right. Yeah. Uh, Best PA works no, is Shirabako. Don't at me. I want to. I want to see what happens. There's there's people on our Discord who said they didn't like it that much. Um, but I want to see what happens. I want to because well, the main so character she, girl is kind of dull, but that's like her. That's the whole point is she's trying to not be dull, right? <laughs> so and she's living in her grandma's house, but she's at the time where her grandma's her age, you know. So like, but and she's not there right the, now. The she's thing about it too is it, it, there's kind of a lot of characters going on. I don't. Well, it feels like a lot. Maybe one or two too many. There's eight me? on the I kinda, I kinda, seven on the cover. I kinda, I kinda, I kinda ah, feel just like you a there. tiny bit too many, you know. I wish there's just stick to the four girl K on, you know. Just every show should be four girls. <laughs> God, <laughs> just to make some salty. But oh, um, uh, yeah, no, I'm gonna continue watching. I want because I want to see what happens. Um, I really like the way they the way episode one ended, and that kind of made me want to keep watching. I was like, oh shit. 
Maybe some. Uh, Did you find out story? that they were actually in a school with zombies the whole time? Then you find <laughs> out they were actually in a school with zombies. Maybe uh, yeah, have a little with. love story. Uh, gonna get married at the end. Uh, perhaps have a couple kids. Write a novel. Yeah, yeah, looking forward to it. Okay, anyway. She finds out that she has a dragon maid. Yeah. <laughs> Suddenly, <laughs> life isn't so bad. Um, With so, the dragon maid. <laughs> Karu, Karakuri Circus. Oh, I think this is yeah, gonna be Karakuri like a, Circus. This is so, gonna be like a shonen, right? Yeah, this is a thirty-nine episode, or sorry, thirty-six episode shonen action shonen adventure mystery. Um. By Studio cool. Studio Voln, who did Ushio and Tora, which I watched a couple a couple of years ago, um, or no, well they they worked on it and Mappa also helped with Ushio and Tora, but this is kind of like a Mappa Voln um, production. And look, this I think is also has some designs from uh, Hunter Hunter. It, it kind of reminds me of that. It, it yeah, a little I gotta, bit. I gotta, yeah, I gotta like double check that. Kid, I think uh, the little kid kind of. Um, I, I know there's some connection to Hunter Hunter. I don't know if the creator had a connection or if it was like just character design. In any case, we'll find out in a minute. <laughs> but basically, uh, Karakuri Circus is about uh, a young boy named Masaru who is, he, he has a, inherited a big fortune at the death of his father, and people are trying to to steal his fortune. And there's like these two factions that are trying to kidnap him and, and take the fortune, basically. Or kill him. Or kill him, Either yeah. kidnap or kill him. And... Um, there's there's a lot of puppets in this show that like they use puppets as like kind of proxy battling, you know, to do their to do the the fighting. Ten out of ten show. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, there's a kidding. there's a female version of Yuri from Megalobox. What's her name? God damn, she's hot. Shir- Shiragane <laughs> Saiga. Although I will yeah, say her first hot. outfit looks like a slice of pizza. So <laughs> okay, so back pizza. back to the back to the art. Uh, like the animation and the art style, um, it's the same creator who did who did Yushio uh, Tutora. Yeah, it's yeah, the yeah. same guy. It's he's the original creator of the why manga. Do I, why do I think there's a Hunter Hunter connection? I don't know why. Mm, I feel like the character designs remind me of it, but kind of you know what kind of reminds me of it kind of reminds me of Zatch Bell. Except the a puppets little, are. Uh, yeah, a little bit. It kind of, it actually low key kind of reminds me of JoJo's. Yeah. Well, except yeah, but less memey. Less memey. Yeah. Except in JoJo's there stands, and then in in Zatch Bell there are Mamotos. Yeah. In this yeah. one there's puppets. Um, and in this yeah. one there's, puppets. there's hot puppets too, like Saiga. Yes, there is. I yes. <laughs> <laughs> so and the sorry the other character so there's three main characters it's the the boy. Um, Oh, Masaru is the boy. Is the Shiragane is the is the woman slash puppet, and Narumi is the the man who's um, he's kind of like the muscle. It's like those are the main three, and they're trying to defend from these villains so far. Yeah, and that's like kind of we a, just started the adventure. Really, it's they're they're, they're trying yeah. to figure out. Dude. It's it's a mystery, so they're trying to figure out like the motives of uh, of all these enemy factions. Right. Um, I think it looks kind of cool. I I remember uh, Sen Seneca. She posted the trailer for it like a month ago, or maybe a couple weeks ago. And I was like, man, this looks kind of hype, though. And she's like, I know, I'm so excited. And she said something about it. And then I don't know. the The first episode was kind of like, oh, okay. And then it's maybe it's just gonna start out slow and it'll pick up because maybe that's I mean, a lot of shonen can do that, you know. But mm-hmm. um. I'm gonna keep watching because I it the trailer looked hype as hell. Like the trailer looked mad hype. So yeah, the action scenes it's... in this are really good. The Sakuga is great. Mm-hmm. Yes, Studio. It's Mappa. also it also has a little bit of comedy in it too, which I like. Um, yeah, it's got the shonen. You know, they yeah, break especially it up. with um the guy um, in the room. The guy when he's all like have he's like hyperventil. Well, not like hyperventilating, but like he's kind of like having like that. Attack, yeah, like he has like a attack. disease. He has a disease where he has to make people laugh. Yeah. Um, or else he dies. <laughs> <laughs> but like the funny um, thing is, he's like not really that funny. <laughs> he's like it's so hard for him to make people. It laugh. was really. Uh, I kind of laughed when he like ran out and he went to like the convenience store and he's like chasing like the. He's like the shoving workers. utensils up his nostrils <laughs> and stuff. And he's like laugh yeah. at me. 
<laughs> yeah, I, I mean so, that that was pretty funny. Right. Um, I'm into that stuff though, so hopefully it'll get better. You know. Um, I do like the art style too. So. Um. Well, it I'm, has I'm waiting a lot for that. of episodes, so. I'm waiting for that badass moment because yeah. I know if it's like other shown in, there's gonna be that one moment, mm-hmm. like some shit's about to go down and the villain's gonna go flying into the wall, some bullshit like that. It's gonna be sick. Um, okay. Um, so far, it, there's only a couple shows that I don't know if I'm gonna continue or not, but I think I'm still gonna just because I don't need Nick to yell at me. But um, 36 episodes, Cower Curry Circus, boom. Release the spice. And spice spelled with a Y, by the way. I wanted to eat the spicy. <laughs> I didn't watch this one. This one? Okay. If you like Princess Principle, then you will at least be able to tolerate and release the spice. Um, this is a spy girls show by Studio Le Duce. It's an original. Le Duce. Le Duce. I like calling them Le Duce because it sounds like they're, <laughs> they're, ex, like they're, drop, popping they're ex bones. They're ex bones uh, employees. Yeah, and that's how a lot of this, a lot of uh, studios branch off from older ones. Um, I think Voln is probably a branch from from Mappa. I mean, oh, Mappa's pretty new though. But anyway, um, so yeah, it, I mean, it, look, there's a girl named Momo. She's attending a high school, and then she becomes a member of this uh, spy group called the Sukikage, and they're an intelligence agency that protects the city, and they're defending against. These um, syndicate, these crime syndicates, they're trying to like sell prescription, you know, drugs and fuck up the city, basically. So it's like she at the first few episodes, Momo is training with the other girls in Sukikage and sh- she has to go through a montage and everything. And it's it's pretty cute and funny. Um, doesn't have like the sound doesn't have like the same hype and soundtrack as Princess Principal. But I would say like I would say it's about eighty percent as good as Princess Principal, if that makes sense. Does anyone um, agree with that? Maybe seventy. I don't think I've seen. I don't think I've seen Princess. You would Principal. you would probably like it. if you like cute lolly girls doing spy things, then you know check it out. Not I mean not really like I wasn't really into this. <laughs> okay, I'm not well, really into the. Sh- I'm, I'm not really into the shows where it's like characters with swords, rangers. Let's go. <laughs> Team Why the fight, fuck though. do you like Gridman? Then? <laughs> it's the same because Gridman is shit. actually good, though. Okay. Well, anyway, we'll get to that. Um, look, dude, I'm talking about like that Serif fucking show. This one, and there's a couple others like it. There's like it's like every season you get an anime where it's like, <laughs> and I'm not even like that's not even an exaggeration. If it is an exaggeration, it's only a little bit. There's an anime where the main characters is like a squad of uniformed girls in some cases girls and guys and they all have swords nobody wants to see the guys though it's always 50% girls. of the time 50% of the time all those swords are all katanas or some sort of japanese sword and and it's different colored hair bitches fighting people like that's every season there's one like that and this is this this one is that one i just don't I'm not into that. Yeah. Like, I don't I, I don't know why like, the show has such a low score on Mal. It's a 6.8. That feels low. Like, this should be over a 7. Because it's, it's a fine show. And it, much like Gridman, like, I think someone's... I don't know why. Like, people just, for whatever reason, just gave it a low score at the start. It has good animation. has a pretty good soundtrack. It has good OP and ED. Like, uh, you know, the story isn't super uh, original, but... Or complex or whatever, but uh, so That's what? That's why it g- they gave it such a low score. Yeah, the thing, though, is like 6.8 is for shows that are like decidedly below average on Mal. That's well, this is a below average av- show. No, I wouldn't say so. I'd say this is at no. least average. <laughs> <laughs> I love when Nick does it. I, I'd say no. the, show, the show is at least replacement level, much like Danny. Replacement level, okay? <laughs> He's Some chump like in the corner. Whoa. Some... Whoa. Yeah, no, Danny. Danny. Damn. Danny, Danny those I don't have to be on, here. You know, I don't have to. She be has here. a face that she could be sitting on right now. <laughs> <laughs> she could be fucking right now. <laughs> Guys, I was calling back to the iTunes reviews from that other episode. Okay? Never mind. Okay. It was a joke, yeah. Danny. Relax. You're above I replacement know. level. <laughs> I don't have to be here, though. You know? Like, I don't have to. <laughs> She's, you, he, do you guys understand? Let, just let me pause for a second. Do you guys understand why 
we record in different states. Like this is this is why. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> Everybody would be <laughs> killing me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'd I'd probably punch Nick in the face. Nick a would be times. throwing Nick would be throwing pencils or something at me to get me to stop talking. Danny would be hitting people. Coco would be jacking off to something in the corner <laughs> when we're trying to record. You know it. <laughs> See, I don't even have to. He, he admits it. And definitely, so anyway. Quoka, Quoka strikes me as a panty sniffer. You know, you'd find some panties somewhere. I don't blame him. Tom's <laughs> definitely a panty sniffer. <laughs> me, not so much. I'm a very, I'm a very clean individual. You put a little cocaine in there and make me to drug. Oh God. Speaking of drugs, anyway. release the spice. So they use this thing called spice to get high as fuck, and it gives them special, you know, in- increased. Basically, they're, they're basically like taking cocaine and <laughs> like getting, rage. getting increased um, um, They're taking movement. speed. Just like that one episode of Futurama, the, the moth shit, like the the pollen. <laughs> I was thinking of the one where Fry had to drink 100 cups of coffee. That's like what they're doing in the show, <laughs> basically. So <funny. laughs> he, he turns the into a god. Coffee counter. The yeah. coffee counter at the bottom. Yeah, no. Um, but yeah, uh, okay, look, look, look. This show is fucking funny, dude. There's cute girls fighting other cute girls. There's a there's a tiny little Chinese girl they have to beat up. They like four versus one her and like beat the crap out of her. It's great. That's because Japanese people don't like Chinese people. <laughs> I think she's Chinese. I don't know. Um, <laughs> I didn't pay that much attention. Pulling a Hank, Nick pulling a Hank Hill. Right, so are you Chinese or <laughs> Japanese? <laughs> well, ocean. What ocean? What ocean? <laughs> what ocean's yeah. that? <laughs> what, yeah, yeah. Um, I, I, you Dude, know what? It's great. I, I like the animation. The train. Did you get to the really training good. montages where where Momochi's getting trained by uh, what's her name, Yuki? Um, yeah, that was fucking funny. I mean, because Yuki just like put stamps on her cheeks and forehead and be like, <laughs> no, "You have to pass this." <laughs> She's like, "I was spying on you the whole day," and you know, she she poisoned her. She roofied her tea. You know, great. If you want to be a spy, you're gonna get roofied. She made her do you the want wa- to be a spy? You're gonna, you're gonna get tased, okay? Like she made her do the one. <laughs> she she's like, here's your list of workout. It was like the One Punch Man workout. <laughs> it's fucking funny. Oh man, every character has a mask, like Mission Impossible. They're just ripping off their face. It's great. Um, James Bond style. They got those cute. All right, gadgets. let's talk about the best show. Of raccoon. The, the whole. Ent- Son, we didn't mention this before we end this. Raccoon Face Johnson. Enough said. You know what? Nick makes a good point. 10 out of 10 show. <laughs> I didn't even think about that. You're right. You're absolutely fucking right. Um, no, I think... Uh, I don't know, man. I'm just not into that. I don't know. I I see it every season, and I just... That's fair. You don't, you, you don't, don't have to. It's fine. I'll, I'll enjoy it all the more. I felt the same way about um, the one show last season, the the theater one. I, uh, Star Review, Review Starlight. Oh, Review Starlight, yeah. Uh, except, except I think this might be better than that show. To th- be the weird thing is, like, Review Starlight was better directed, but this one is like easier to watch. <laughs> it's like I feel it's like more I fun. would like this. I feel like I'd like the progression story more in this than I would in. Yeah, because Review Starlight was super idly, you know. Yeah, and it, it got repetitive, and it was like Monster of the Week. But um, yeah, no, I um, yeah. So moving on, um, s- s- Gridman, anime of all time by Studio Trigger. SSSSSSSS Gridman. So anime of all time. I'm gonna let Sam give the uh, summary here because I don't have the best summary. Here's why you don't know anything about nothing. This is okay, and I didn't. Uh, <laughs> so I was hyped about Gridman because I was like, "Oh, it's a giant hero show. I'm into it." Togusatsu. Then like, then like I had to look it up because I was like, "Is this based on something?" Because it looked like I was like, "This looks like it's based on something." It's based on Gridman the Hyper Agent, which was a show by uh, by the people who made Ultraman, which is uh, Subaraya Productions. Um, they do a lot of giant hero stuff. They uh, work with Toei to produce Kamen Rider and other shit. Um, they made a show called Gridman the Hyper Agent, and it was like these four kids, or three kids, I think in the Japanese one, they had a computer and Gridman. They would go into the interwebs, and they would be Gridman, and then they would fight bad guys on the internet and shit. It was um, Mega Man. Battle Network, yeah, yeah. Mega Man Battle Network. Um, we got an American version starring Matthew Lawrence, by the way, one of the Lawrence brothers. If anyone knows who Matthew so he's Lawrence is, he's a brother of Jennifer old. Lawrence. No, no, different Lawrence. Don't care. Um, 
uh, <laughs> don't care. Uh, but they, the American version we got was called Superhuman Samurai Cyber Squad. SSSS.Gridman. Um, but basically, Gridman is this hero, and he's a hyper agent who works on the computer, on the, on the Webernets. Except the way this show does it is it's happening, like, in Japan. And the bad guy, Akane, or the bad girl, rather, makes the kaiju, and she releases it in Japan. And then the next, like, they'll destroy buildings and shit. And then the next day after Gridman beats their ass, everything is back to normal. It's gone. Anyone who was killed is erased from everyone's memory and given an alternate memory. So it's like, I can't tell how they're doing it. But anyway, it's a giant hero show, and it's fucking awesome. A lot of the... A lot of the scenes and cinematography in it is very, like, exactly like how you'd be watching a giant hero show. Like, when they summon Gridman in the first episode, he comes down falling from the sky, like, on his feet. And it's just like, and then he does the pose with his arm, like, flying forward and shit. Um, But the reason I like it, though, is because there have been animes that have done this before, where they do an adaptation of... A, an old school like Sentai or Giant Hero, whatever, and it's never turned out well. You know, Garo Vanishing Line is one of them. Uh, Guyver is another kind of weird one. The an- there's an anime, there's an OVA to that one that was kind of weird. Well, didn't um, didn't Guyver wasn't Guyver pretty good? I I haven't seen it. The OVA, I mean. The the, the I mean it, for the time, like the animation was like holy shit. And well, yeah, even OVAs now, were even, crazy. Yeah, even now they the just animation is the budget into those. And I think what what you're thinking of Nick is like it's it's just kind of a classic. Like you should just watch it just because, like Overfiend. You know what I mean? But yeah, like the hyper violence. Oh, yeah, gu- yeah. Guyver was is was another one of those ones that kind of was an adult, uh, whatever. Sent, but it was a Sentai thing. But um, no, I like it, dude. Gridman is sick. Gridman is super dumb. So far, I just don't think Gridman's very good. You are full of crap, and you should fuck off right now. You should fuck out of my it's face. It's like the. The story has nothing about it that's compelling, and the Fuck characters you. are all super unlikable, <laughs> aside from those thick thighs. Fuck you. No, they're pretty likable. Like, out of all... <laughs> the, out of, like, every show I've watched with, like, a boring self-insert main character, this guy's the most boring. I will say his Kirito hairstyle Kirito look three-dimensional. I, don't, I like when Nick I don't like critiques hairstyle. the hairstyles. Dude, it looks fucking dumb. Come on. He's got like this fuck he's got this like bed head on both sides of his head. He looks like, like a fucking like a furry guy or something. It's like, like, like a th- th- comb your hair, man. Come on. They could they could add Kirito to this and it would like triple the personality of the show. Freaking Nick is like And I he's don't a like cardboard the... box. He's the bed head guy, I don't lie. I'm just saying. Like, so maybe saying. it'll get better, so but it just <laughs> seems like nothing about it is meaningful or interesting. I, and here's here's the thing. I feel like if you're not into, like, I don't know, dude. I Maybe I'm maybe I'm biased. Maybe I'm biased. You're definitely biased. Dude, Sam, yeah, you're all you about Togusatsu. Yeah. You only yeah. like, uh, Sam, this is how it works. Sam only likes Togusatsu, Catface Johnsons, and Proxy Battles. <laughs> Everything else is terrible. Because <laughs> I could, like, the big thing, like, obviously, if you have infinite time in the world, you could watch all the anime and maybe you can enjoy all of it because you have infinite time in your world. But, like, you have um, shows like Evangelion or Gurren Lagan that well, yeah. do everything this show does except 100 times better and now, actually have meaning main... and purpose. Whoa, wh- right. wh- what about Darling and the Franks? Which one's better, this or Darling and the Franks? I think Darling and the Franks is more interesting. I don't know if it's better. <laughs> it's definitely worse. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Fuck you guys. Listen, the main character, Trigger. too, though, he's like, he doesn't, uh, you know, like, there's still a lot of questions. And I think once yeah. that stuff gets revealed, what it What is my name? <laughs> what do I do for fun? Do I have fun? Johnny, what is Johnny, fun? Dude, I Johnny want to watch Eldno Noah Zero. His hobby in Eldno Noah Zero was eggs. That's all I know about that show. <laughs> like they even did some of the normal scenes that some of these shows have where somebody's like, oh, it's too dangerous. Like, yeah, but it's what I have to do. Except they did. It's like, oh, what are you thinking? It might be dangerous. Yeah, it might be. Let's go do it. <laughs> like, <laughs> dangerous. Let's jump like, into no, danger. Like, nobody, had any, nobody has any strong convictions in this show at all. 
Also, she's like, what are you talking they're about, like, dude? oh, we need to figure this out. We should go to the computer. Oh, the shop's closed today. Oh, but can't you just dude, open no, it? F- dude, I have other things got... to do. You know what? What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> no, he got called to action and he answered the call. Yeah, but that okay. Uh, like, but it's like, oh uh, yeah, I guess. It starts a little slow, is what you're saying. It doesn't say no. Like, no, whoa, this is in. fucking because, insane. No, How can I be doing no, this? Because, because by the end of the first episode, he's like, I have to do this. Like, I'm gonna fucking do it because I'm, I, I have to. And he does it, and he fucking yeah, but he that, becomes gritty. He man. never had anything else. There was nothing else there. It was just, huh? What is it this computer matter. talking to me? So, yeah, the main oh, guy has memory Grid loss. Man, are you something to do with this? Let's go. God. I will say that uh, Amnesia is, is like, one of my least favorite uh, characteristics. <laughs> it just feels kind of I mean, lazy. I mean, I feel you there. But, I mean, I are the, are the, is Amnesia kind of a trope in this genre or something? Is that, like... there? It, that it actually does play a big part in, in the... Yeah. Because she'll make a kaiju, and then she'll release it and like there's one there was one part where one of the their classmates got killed in in the kaiju attack and the next day they go to school and everything's back to normal except nobody knows who she is and she yeah. died and turn, many they years go to, ago they they go to her dad's restaurant chinese restaurant and he's like dude what do you t-? they're like hey is is so and so home and the dad's like dude fuck you my daughter died like 5 years ago and it was like this big thing like but yeah well i i, I okay look even if Koga doesn't like the premise, you got to admit that the directing is pretty good, right? Yeah, how would it? Yeah, I think it's pretty good. Even Koga can admit that it's pretty good. Pretty good directing. Who did who did the directing on this? We got to give the props here. Akira Amamiya. There we go. It's like Akira so. Green Man, I'd say it's like well, it looks well made. Uh, who did, uh, what did he did Black Rock Shooter in XL World? Like the art. Yeah, one episode. Oh, he directed animation's Inferno. Good <laughs> music's good. Assistant All director and kill a kill. Fine. Uh, it does have a good sense of mystery. It's just like what they're actually showing is just very like. It's like they they took the monster of the week formula and just really boiled it down to nothing else. Like just characters, here's no personality, I... no nothing. Just here's another kaiju. Let's go fight it. And I okay, and I agree with you a little bit. Sure, fine, but. Here's why you don't know anything. Okay, tell me why. Because you don't know anything. Because I'm white. You gotta. No, I'm saying nobody does. You gotta wait. Some shit's about to happen. I just and then Gridman. Yeah. So I can only judge it based everyone. on what we know so far. We don't no, know that that's gonna you, have any payoff. Here's why you're a bitch, though. <laughs> is because you don't know that Gridman is the goat next to Ultraman. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, that's the so best part the, of the He's the scope. What is it a beam? Yeah. I want to just go up to like Hideaki Anno and just start yelling Ultraman noises at him. <laughs> See, even yeah. Nick, even though Nick doesn't agree with me 100%, he knows what's good because he's he's in the fucking corner recording with us right now going, Yeah. <laughs> dude, it's like wrestling. It's like those wrestling moves. That shit's sick, dude. Come on. It's all about the spectacle. Fucking the Frankensteiner, the fucking kaiju. Fucking do it. Also, the junior high school is called Neon Genesis Junior High. Is it really? I didn't even notice yeah. that. One, yeah. <laughs> fucking one of the, trigger, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Trigger's like so far up their own ass. Like that's, that's like the knock against the studio. Like, look, I love Trigger. They do a lot of good stuff, but <laughs> they, they just so <laughs> self-referential. It's funny. So far up their own ass. But anyway, like, I would say. Remember other show? <laughs> I would say highly. I, there's a lot of people who like it. I like it. And uh, I don't want to talk too much. I, I think I feel like I overtalked Gridman a little bit, but yeah, it's boring. I love, I unless you it. super love the show, maybe it'll have some payoff. If you think Quoke is right, don't talk to me. So I will anyway, admit it does start slow. It does. That's probably yeah, why like, it has a low mouse score of six point nine seven. It's um, kind of like let's do some. A Samurai Caliber's best. It's Annie List score is sixty five percent. Yeah, I mean it's because it hasn't really you know bursted out yet, so you know. But we I don't know that it will. To break free. Yeah. It has put, it has hashtag potential though. So there you go. Yeah, but I feel like it could have also just been better from the beginning. It you're oh right. My God. <laughs> I, I don't disagree. I still like it. I still like it, dude. And Rika's thick as fuck. So you know what? I'm gonna give it a chance. 
thick in the Danny, head. what do you think? What do you think of of Rika? Wait, did Danny not watch Gridman? No, nope. she says she didn't. God damn it! Fuck. She doesn't like your toxic masculinity <laughs> oh, right. displays. Sa- yeah, Sam only likes three things. Danny only likes a couple of things. If it's sports or or bishy boys or face sitting. <laughs> And and Quoka doesn't <laughs> like anything. Fucking Quoka. Quoka likes face sitting, apparently. Yeah, face sitting. I so, would be uh, hashtag arms crossed emoji to face sitting because I would suffocate. So that <laughs> <laughs> fucking Nick. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, dude. Uh, <laughs> that right, time I got move on. reincarnated yeah, okay, we as go. a slime. Let's move I was on to saying the, the real, title. The real AOTS. I was saying the title, and she goes, can we move on? Like, in the middle of when I was saying the title. <laughs> Sorry. That time Sorry. I got reincarnated as a slime. <laughs> Tensai she taught Tensai. a slime tataken. Tataken. You got to say it like, uh, like the Japanese style, though. A, uh, loser a, bus- a loser, lonely businessman who's, uh, who's a walking... He's walking to He's almost a Shibuya to go <laughs> to a <laughs> brothel when he gets stabbed, stabbed by He gets a... randomly stabbed. Like, that doesn't make <laughs> any fucking sense. You know, ran- the guy's just, like, <laughs> running down the street. He's like, ah! Just charging with a knife like a in knife front of him. In- <laughs> yeah, it's like, what the fuck is this shit? <laughs> so, I mean, random knife tactics happen like, it's all like over Asia. Suba, That's it's like culturally levels. relevant. <laughs> It's like Konosuba levels of, of, of stupid like so, stupid uh, ways to die. He's he gets, he fucking craps himself. <laughs> he gets like, stabbed, <laughs> and as he's thinking his way through this, this magical system is analyzing what he's thinking and giving him powers in the next life in which he's a slime. So he's like, Dude, he's oh, this hurts. Yeah. And she's like, oh, maybe you should have pain resistance. And he's like, oh, the blood feels so wet. Oh, you have water powers. And he ends up coming as a that. slime. And, and he has, and he feels no pain at all. And he has certain too. abilities that allow him to swallow things and absorb all of their powers and become them. He's so he can give really he's, great he's, blow jobs. He's a super ditto. <laughs> yeah, you know he is a super, super ditto, dude. And voiced by a woman, and it's adorable. The slime version, anyway. Well, he has two voices. Yeah, his voice and the slime voice. Yeah, and he meets like a dragon who's who's super lonely, and then he. Eats the, yeah, the, the dragon. Sundere I didn't dragon. quite understand what happened with the dragon. Oh, I didn't see that. So the yeah. dragon um, was the dragon was trapped. Uh, I think his name is Ver- Tempest Verdura. Or... Veldor. No. Uh, yeah, Tempest. Or Tempest Verudera was later. Tempest. The storm or dragon. Veldora Tempest. Yeah, the storm dragon was trapped, and uh, the slime guy ate the dragon to get him out of there. And he ate gained the whole the shield that the dragon was included in. It's so fucking. You know, he just, he's just like, oh, there's an obstacle. I'm gonna eat it. <laughs> And then, like, when yeah, yeah, yeah. you have that sufficient shit. magical powers, you can name people because people don't have names, but then they evolve into, like, so you got these, like, super little tiny kid goblin looking things, and then they get a name, and then they become well, super stacked and sexy. I'm, I'm just playing say, parts like the world. We don't need to give a breakdown Pokemon. of every last little episode. It's also Pokemon too. But I like I like the beginning when he just started as a slime. He's like learning his powers, and he's like, "Oh, I can skate across the water." Blah blah blah. I'm gonna Is fight this these water. Monsters. I can't see. I don't have eyeballs. Yeah, he, <laughs> and he gains all these powers over you know like five minutes, and he eats no, a it's spider. Actually weeks. He spends weeks in that game. Well, in the episode time, anyway, he's farming, and <laughs> he, he the the funniest <laughs> part that sticks with me is like he eats a, he gets the spider web power. And um, he's like swinging across this giant chasm doing the Tarzan voice. <laughs> I thought that was fucking funny as hell. Do you guys remember that? He's like, oh. And then it was weird that he <laughs> learned like that water so blade good. attack where he could like shoot water out and it's in a blade and it, he shoots it at a rock and it cuts the rock, got clean in half. And then he's surprised when he shoots it at a centipede and it cuts the head off or the snake or whatever the fuck. It was like. It cut through a fucking rock. Yeah, of course it's going to go through a snake. Like, <laughs> well, was there's nothing to be surprising there. Tungsten. No, cool guy. Here's why. Soft? You know what your fucking problem is? <laughs> you can't go through life watching everything and going, well, that one little insignificant part doesn't make sense, so the whole show is bad. Well, actually, no, I didn't say the show was bad. <laughs> yeah, I said that part didn't like, make sense. How'd you like Kimi no Nawa? There's plot holes in that. No, there's not. No, no <laughs> plot holes in Kimi no Nawa. <laughs> Perfect. Name one plot oh, hole. No Name, it. No Name it. Name it, Nate. Name travel. it. Save it for the Kimi no Nawa podcast. They didn't have podcast. a clock on their phone. <laughs> the one. Oh, we should do a one year later Kimi no Nawa cast. Let's just have one every year. Let's just keep <laughs> yeah. doing that. Is it still good? <laughs> yes, it's still the best. <laughs> Quoka, how many That's... times did you jack off to Kimi no Nawa? Uh, about 100 times this year. <laughs> I've legit seen it six times. 
And you came you're away with in theater. Fan, Soiled then. pants. You're not a, every you're time. not a true fan. You need to see I, It might have actually been more than yeah, six. I don't even remember. Up. Saw it twice in theaters. <laughs> You need to watch okay. it more if you well, look, to be a true save fan. Save it for the Kimi no Nawa podcast, which we're gonna, we're apparently going to do that one every year now. Um, save it for what, the Shanae no When I'm reincarnated yeah. as a slime. So, like, look, he meets the goblin folk, and they're scared of him because he's super powerful, and then he helps them against the wolves. And he basically gains control of the wolves and the goblins. And then he's, like, riding on the wolf like fucking Princess Mononoke, except he's a slime, and it's funny as hell. The one that was thing, the end of episode three. <laughs> so like, I think it's kind of entertaining-ish. Um, the big thing is it just seems like all of a sudden he is super good at using all the abilities. And he also has like the abilities that allow him to become a god, essentially. Yeah. Which yeah, and it- is kind of annoying. Because, I mean, there's other... Generally in these Trapped in the World show type things, these, what, isekais or whatever... Uh, there should be a stronger period of really gathering information and learning aside from maybe some of those that are like log horizon or overlord where they had familiarity with the world before they became trapped in it because of the whole video game thing, even though they still did that, they still did a learning about the world. And he kind of is getting into that in like episode three, but early on it was just like, Oh yeah, I guess I'm a slime now. Here's some great abilities. Oh, I have lots of magic. I can eat anything and take its powers. Oh, well, look at that. Ah, ha, ha, ha. <laughs> so what's your point? Um, Dude, it's kawaii as fuck, man. He he vores the goblins to heal them. He just eats them, and then they're like, ooh, I'm shiny and clean now. It's just, it's just, <laughs> it's just kind of poop. But It's all right. It's mediocre. It's fine. It's good. It's all right. It has aspects that are, are really interesting and fun. And then it just has some stuff that's just like, ugh. I think I it's going to get really into the main story after episode three because, like, these first three episodes. Uh, 24 episodes, just, I would hope it gets into a story at some point. Yeah, like, it, well, he's it just kind is, of, yeah. like, learning about the world a little bit. It does get a little too much into, like, oh, I have this power. Now I have this power. Here's what this power does. Yeah. There's a little too much of that, honestly, but, eh, fuck it. They, um, and not enough, like, questioning, bit. like, yeah, really Studio what's happening. Bit. Directed by did, uh, Yasuhito Kikuchi. They also did Knights in Magic. Rizaya. You could Kikuchi me. Aquarian <laughs> evil. Um, All right. No, though. Uh, I'm 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 gonna keep watching. I want to see. Yeah, I'm gonna keep watching. When, I want to see when shit starts. Easy happening. to watch. This one's just easy. You just plop it on yeah. and just ahegao and watch it. Just ah and watch I it. I can agree with so that. So Nick, it's is there easy. is there any other shows that you want to mention real quick? Um, so that one that, that I mention? accidentally crossed off was Uzumade. Or Uchi no Uchi no Maid ga ga Uza Sugiro. Yeah. <laughs> this one is about a Russian little girl who lost her mother at a young age, and there's a maid that they get who's a, a former self defense officer with an eye patch and huge, massive lady muscles. And she, she is ripped. Her. And uh, the little girl also has a ferret. And That's actually, so who who animated this? Doga Kobo. Like, dude, some of the Sakuga in this is actually really fucking good. <laughs> uh, some of it. It's I, not, didn't, I didn't watch it. Um, this was actually pretty fun. It is pretty funny, actually. Like, it's kind of like, I would say it's like a better sweetness and lightning. Like, I don't care. Like, you know, it's not going to make you cry or anything, but. Um, sweetness and lightning was disappointing. Because it's basically like the girls had a bunch of different maids and she always ran them out of the house. Uh, possibly be because in some ways she'd be replacing her mom. Her mom. Like yeah. not yeah. not in the relationship yeah. way with the father because that's not what it's about, but in like the. And she calls know, her dad her by his like, first as name. A, <laughs> yeah. As a human. Except so she like, calls him dad and he's like, oh my God. So then so they like get this new girls. maid, and she had yeah. been this girl that had walked by in the past and seen the little girl playing with the mom and been like, she's so cute. cute. And then she basically like stalked the girl for like Oh, every she's month. a lolicon. Yeah, we didn't mention that. <laughs> she's a literal uh, lolicon. <laughs> Loli. Like that she designs clothes, and she just wants to get the girl to dress up in all of her clothes because she's so cute. So I don't know if there's like a mistranslation, but like, let me find it. The right but the and the girl is like, oh my god, this this maid is crazy and is in love with me. But she's also a JSDF, a former oh. JSDF officer, super ripped. She wears like bloomers and a tiny little PE shirt, and she's just got like like 
a six pack that makes JoJo jealous. <laughs> True. You could uh, wash your. You could she's wash your also a really good abs. cook, and it's funny how like the little girl like <laughs> there was she she's eating she's eating the food. She's like she's a fucking like she doesn't say the f word, but she's like she's a weirdo, but she cooks so good. Yeah, <laughs> she I love I like the, how part, the little like, girl tries she, to spy on her too. When she was because like she shows up on the first day as like a maid, and she's like everybody's looking at me weird, and then she shows up in like the bloomer and stuff, and she's like everybody was looking at me like I'm garbage. <laughs> <laughs> But well, yeah, she, she's me like I'm garbage. She's willing to do anything to uh, bring Misha out of her shell, make her happy, uh, and the cause, yeah, because cause, yeah, her, her mom's dead, so it's like, dude, she gotta, just you know, she just wants a job where school. she can make white girls dress up because white so girls I, aren't I can't tell. real people. White people aren't people; they're just accessories. I don't think Asia. she's like sexually attracted to her, but she's still a lollicon. No, no, there's one. There was no sense of that. There's one part where she says, I don't know if it was translated wrong. She says, I'm sorry, I don't like girls who begun to menstruate. <laughs> and I just thought that was fucking funny. I'm like, whoa, a little creepy. Um, but I don't know if that's like a Japanese thing. Maybe something's lost in translation. Um, she's not like leering at the girl. There's no like, there's none of those creep shots. Yeah, there's only, like there's only a sense that it's being, uh, it's just about the cuteness. Yeah, I think that's basically it. Um she just has so it's a, a thin line, folks. If you have urges, you should stay away from children. Okay, <laughs> thank you. That's your public service announcement. That's yeah. Okay, <laughs> thank you, Captain Obvious. <laughs> <laughs> Daily reminder. Um, okay, so um, there you go. Yeah, this is pretty good. This is uh, pretty good. There uh, are some honorable mentions that I would like to say. Okay, make sure they're not on our second batch, Danny, because we'll talk about those next time, maybe. Oh, I mean. There's save there's it for next week. Skull, there's Skullhead Face Johnson. Just, there, there's <laughs> this show one. Is so funny. <laughs> <laughs> Which is it, it's about you know. Wait, what's the actual a name? A skeleton. Um, some. Ah, uh, where is it? Hold on, I don't remember the name because I've been calling it Skullhead Face Johnson so <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, not Zombie Land Saga. That, no, that's no, it's not. No, no, no. He, he, he. This one's down the list. Then I must not. He works. He works. He works at a bookstore. He's they work literally, at a bookstore. literally a skeleton working at a bookstore. Yeah, and yeah. yeah. And, and the skeleton's name is is Honda. Honda. So, yeah. Oh, Honda. I think I've Honda heard of this song. one. Honda. Yeah. God, I Why can't did... find it. Oh, here we go. It's a uh, Gai Kotsu Shoten Honda San. Yeah. There yeah. you go. It's a short, you know, like. Oh, uh, it's a short. That's why I didn't give a shit about it. Okay. Um, yeah. <laughs> that uh, each episode is about like twelve minutes long, so it's an easy, it's an easy watch. Who's it's got pretty time? Hilarious. I do. I like it. It's funny. Danny has. Do you time watch anime Coco. while sitting on faces? <laughs> no. Got a multitask right there. <laughs> got a multitask. There's also uh, Pumpkin Face Johnson, Bag Face Johnson. They all have Bunny the same exact Johnson. body, but different faces. It's what great. the heck? Yeah, dude. It looks Studio hilarious. DLE. DLE. <laughs> DTR. Who is also... DTF. Um, wait. Oh, no. That's Gon- Gonzo. They did a Kiba's trip. That's Studio Gonzo. Is this just like an offshoot of Studio Gonzo? It is. It looks like, yeah. Yeah. Because I clicked on it. It's a bunch dude, they of did Henkai Shoujo. That, that show okay, was let's... Uh... Anyway... Yeah, there you um, go. Anyway, we have a lot of shows we're going to talk about next week. If yeah, your next favorite week, show we, didn't get talked about, uh, you should message us because maybe we still have some time to add your favorite show well, in. Well, tentatively, it's not already on we our have list. next week we're going to tentatively cover Sword Art Online, Alicization, uh, Bunny Girl Senpai, Zombie Land Saga, uh, Kikisho, Gaku no Juliet, uh, Kaze Ga Suku- Sukoyo, Conception. Space fish, space Surume, fish. double decker, space fish. We'll we'll space get some combination fish. of those. <laughs> Which one's the yeah, space so fish? Space Sora fish? To, so, to Umi no Aida. So let us know if you like us doing it this way. This way we can because like the mid impressions, me and Nick and Danny, kind of felt like it was hard to do mid impressions because it was just like. I don't know. It just seemed really weird, and we were kind of all over well, the place. Well, we split it in two, so, yeah. Yeah, this way, we just split the first impressions in two, and then we have the review at the end. And then, you know, if we feel a need to do a mid-impressions, we can, or we don't have to. But I hope you like it this way. 
We're going to try it this way, see if you all like so it, see if we like it. which of these shows is your guys' favorite of this batch? Yeah, let us know. Well, I'm asking Hit you guys, up. too. Oh, Gridman. Maybe Okay, Goblin besides Slayer. Gridman. No, I'm just kidding. Um, all right, let's, um, let's check here. Maybe Slime. Maybe Irizuku or Bloomin' to you. Dude, I know this isn't the best one, but I'm going to say release the spice. <laughs> it's like nobody would expect that. The oh most God. 5 out of 10 you, show you'll ever see. Are we going to talk about Emo Emo? Wait, is that the name of the show? That's the short version of the name. The 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 little girl writes a novel and wins a light novel award, but it's oh, all the about little girl, a girl show? that, that was... super loves her older brother. All right. Anyway. No. <laughs> oh, guys. dude, you had me at at Emoto. Like I'm uh... Emoto. Um. So anyway, it, it, let us know what your favorite is. Let us know if you like us doing it this way, or maybe let us know after we release next week's episode. But until then. Hope you're enjoying fall season so far. We seem to be enjoying it. You I know what? We should just do weekly season. episodes of just the current shows. Okay. Uh, don't listen to Coca <laughs> about anything. Um, links at AnimeSummit.net. Follow us on Twitter. And until then, I've been Sam, your favorite from Taku. Danny with a fanny. Uh, oh, and you can catch F- me in K-drama and K-movie stuff. S S S S S S S S S S S S S S S S S S S S S S S S S S S S S S S S S S S S S S S S S S S S S S S S S S S S S S S S S S S S S S S S S S S S S S S